the text messages is about to celebrate its 25th birthday. While it can be hard to remember life without it, on Sunday, it will be a quarter of a century since the messaging format was invented. To celebrate, the British programmer behind the pioneering message has recreated it with a modern twist. On December 3, 1992, 22-year-old Neil Papworth sent the first-ever short message service, SMS, from a computer to colleague Richard Jarvis. The message, which said Merry Christmases, has been recreated with emoji by Mr. Papworth as an homage to his original text. On December 3, 1992, 22-year-old Neil Papworth sent the first-ever short message service, SMS, from a computer to a colleague. At first, text messages had a 160-character limit, but early adopters got around this by inventing TXTSPK. These would later inspire the creation of the first images, which were invented in Japan in 1999. That same year texts could finally be exchanged on multiple networks, propelling them into greater popularity than ever before. Mr. Papworth said, in 1992, I had no idea just how popular texting would become and that this would give rise to images and messaging apps used by millions. I only recently told my children that I sent that first text. Looking back with hindsight, it's clearer to see that the Christmas message I sent was a pivotal moment in mobile history. Mr. Papworth had been working as a developer and test engineer to create a short message service for Vodafone. One year later in 1993, Nokia introduced an SMS feature with a distinctive beep to signal an incoming message. At first, text messages had a 160-character limit, but early adopters got around this by inventing TXTSPK. This digital language included phrases such as low for laughing out loud and emoticons, symbols made from keyboard characters to show emotions. These would later inspire the creation of the first emoji, which were invented in Japan in 1999. That same year, seven after Mr. Papworth's first SMS, texts could finally be exchanged on multiple networks, propelling them into greater popularity than ever before. Commenting on the text message's 25-year anniversary, Tristan Liverpool, an engineering expert at cybersecurity firm F5 Networks, said, This Sunday will mark 25 years since the first SMS was sent. In that time, mobile technology has galvanized the way we communicate, opening up dialogues between people in countries throughout the world.
While 25 years of texting has made messaging friends and family easier than ever, the SMS has not come without drawbacks. In April, spine surgeons reported a recent increase in young patients with neck and upper back pain. They said this was likely related to poor posture during prolonged smartphone use. How texting can affect your health in April, spine surgeons reported a recent increase in young patients with neck and upper back pain. They said this was likely related to poor posture during prolonged smartphone use. Some patients, particularly young patients who shouldn't yet have back and neck issues, are reporting disc hernias and alignment problems, the study authors, from various U.S. institutions, warned. In an X-ray, the neck typically curves backward, and what we're seeing is that the curve is being reversed as people look down at their phones for hours each day, said study co-author Dr. Todd Landman, a spinal neurosurgeon at Cedars-Sinai Medical Center in Los Angeles. By the time patients get to me, they're already in bad pain and have disc issues, he said. Some patients, particularly young patients who shouldn't yet have back and neck issues, are reporting disc hernias and alignment problems, the study authors, from various U.S. institutions, warned. In an X-ray, the neck typically curves backward, and what we're seeing is that the curve is being reversed as people look down at their phones for hours each day, said study co-author Dr. Todd Landman, a spinal neurosurgeon at Cedars-Sinai Medical Center in Los Angeles. By the time patients get to me, they're already in bad pain and have disc issues, he said.